Hello, I want to make some changes to a studio press theme called Executive Pro. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> uh, I want to change some of the colours and um, things like that. Now, this is the site we're going to use to practice on. And we're going to use a plugin called Genesis Design Palette Pro. Now, I've installed the plugin, you've got to buy this plugin. And it works with some, but not all, Studio Press themes. It only works with uh, about eight themes, I think. So once we've installed Genesis Design Palette Pro plugin, in the settings, go to settings, and you've got to choose it from a drop-down list, whichever plugin, whichever theme you're using. Now it only works with about eight themes. So if you want, I'll put a link at the bottom of the uh, underneath the video on YouTube to a web page, and it'll give you a bit more information. But make sure that the theme you use uh, is compatible with Genesis Design Palette Pro plugin if you want to use it. And you've got to buy this plugin, it's not a free plugin. So, what we need to do first of all, we install the plugin, set it to use the theme we're using, and then decide what you want to change. Now, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to make a bit more space on my de desktop. So, this button here shows full screen. And then, if I press Control minus on my keyboard, I can zoom out a bit, so it'll give me a bit more space. If I press this bu minus button here, the preview of your web page zooms out. And now, just one more time, we can see the whole web page, and we can see the, um, the, the, the settings here. Right, I want to change the colour of this, this site title. So that's in the header area, so click header area and we want to go to site title and I want to change the colour. Now you can either type the colour in there or pick it from the colour picker. I knew the colour so I typed it in there. So now that's changed colour. I want to change the type of font it's using. So just from the drop down list, you've got a few selections in the drop down list, just pick one you like the look of. So that's changed. And I want to change it not to be bold, but to be a light font, so that's changed again. And then I want to change the colour of this button. Now that's still in the header area, because this is a, this is the nav bar in the header right widget area. Sometimes your nav bar will be underneath, in which case you'd have to click the uh, navigation button here. But we're still in the uh, header area over here, on this particular thing. So we need to scroll down and we're looking for um, header navigation display. And I want to change the active background color. So just click the box, type in my color, and I'm going to have the same color for the hover. Can change it. You can make it a bit lighter if you want to, just so you can see your hover. How about if we pick that colour there? That's a nice colour for the hover. That looks okay, doesn't it? Right. Now I want to change the colour of this. And just still on the front the home page. So we need to search again and we're looking for oh no, I tell you what we yeah, we need to go to the home page now. We were in the header area which we've finished editing the header area. Now I want to edit, edit <laughs> the home page area. This bit is the home page area. So we click home page and we want to change the colour, the background colour of this sl slider. So we click the box, type in the colour we want to use and then I want to change the colour of this link text. So we're on the home page responsive slider we've got slide content and the link for the slide content which is this and I'm going to make that a yellow colour I'll make the hover the same colour as well because it has a underline so we can tell right so that's that bit done I want to change the colour here now this call to action banner and it's still on the home page so we need to scroll down a bit more and we're looking for CTA, a call to action. Home page, call to action section. And that's black at the moment. I want it to be green. So I know the colour that I need. And the colour is 
468 and that's a nice clean color I'm gonna leave the text white and I'm gonna change the color of that button so I need to scroll a bit further down we're looking for call to home page call to action button I'm going to change the color of the button to that burgundy color and when it rolls over I want it to be that uh, like a light browny color there so I'm going to go back to the top of the page save my settings and that's the home page done now I've got a um, a mailing list and you can t there's a thing called eNews Extended which is a plugin a Genesis plugin called eNews Extended and it makes it easy to have a sign up box for your mailing list and we can style this box and what we're looking for is Genesis widgets because it's actually this is a widget in a widget area and it's called the eNews Extended widget now you've got to install a, a, an add-on plugin to Design Palette Pro to do this bit, but it's easy to do. It's a free, it's a free add-on. So I've installed the plugin and the add-on that we can use to style this, and I'm going to change the background color to green. And I know the number that I need. It is 46 966. That's what it is. So now we've got that background colour. I want to change the colour of the button. So now we need uh, in use extended submit button. And I want the background of the submit button to be that burgundy colour we've been using. And I want the hover of the button to be this light brown colour. And I want the text on the hover not to be black but to be white so just change that or you can just pick it from the drop down list you know when you when you click one of these just pick it from the uh, thing if you want to right so we'll save that so I'm going back to the top of the page click the save settings now these buttons here what you can do you can see what it looks like in a that's what it would look like. Well, we'll go back to the front page. That's what it would look like in a mobile phone. I might as well go to. Um, this is what it would look like on a, a tablet. And this is what it will look like on a full size PC. So you have different views. Right. Well, I think that's more or less it. So basically, what you do. You choose a part on your, your page or your website that you want to change. Then you've got to look at these. We'll go back to, you choose down here, might be the content area. If it's in the content area, you need to open up a, a web page so that you were looking at uh, the content area where you will make your changes. Um, but just choose a bit that you're interested in might be say your comments you might want to change your, change the way your comments look or your sidebar or your footer things like that so you just pick from this list on the side and then once you've chosen you, you scroll down here to look for some, something you want to change and then you've got margins paddings font size background colors all kinds of different things right now I'll put a link um, under this video to a web page with a bit more information but that's basically it. it's Genesis Design Palette Pro plugin and it works with some studio press themes so check first to make sure that if you if you want to use the plugin make before you buy the plugin check to make sure that it works with the theme that you want to use it with it's a good plugin I think I, I, I like it Anyway, thanks for watching and bye for now.